Today's video suggestion was provided by RCE Kingston. If you want your idea to be featured, make sure to check out my Discord channel. Go share your ideas and talk with other coaster nerds like yourself. Alright, let's talk airtime. It's by far the most favorite force on a roller coaster. Who doesn't love the feeling of floating in your seat or the threat of being ejected into space? You have your floater airtime, ejector airtime, flowjector, or graceful ejector as I like to call it, and some even like to include hang time. I get how hang time is extremely similar to airtime, but for the sake of simplicity, I will not be including hang time moments in this video. Upside down airtime is a totally different thing and I'm going to talk about that. So instead of ranking my favorite moments, which is really hard to do, I'm just going to provide them to you in no particular order. I will split this up into categories, which I think is more important, because how can I compare a good sustained floater airtime moment to a quick pop of ejector airtime? The categories I'll be using is floater airtime. This will encompass airtime moments that are sustained. Even if some would consider it to be more intense like ejector, if it's sustained, I'm keeping it in this category. Now, there are a couple exceptions to this rule, but I'll discuss that at the appropriate time. Next is ejector airtime. This will be for those moments of quick, strong pops of airtime. These are usually described as intense, violent moments. Finally, we have the upside down airtime, which I consider different than hang time. This is where the train feels like it's trying to toss you out of the ride, but when you're upside down. All right, before we get to these amazing moments of airtime, just wanted to put out a friendly reminder that you can follow me over on TikTok and Instagram. I post daily content, so go check it out. Alright, our first category is going to be floater airtime. This is the type of airtime that causes you to levitate in your seat or float. Usually, this is a sustained force that can last for a couple seconds. Mako, which is located at SeaWorld Orlando, this roller coaster has two great moments of floater airtime. The first one is the first drop. Those riding in the back row are treated to some sustained graceful ejector. This sensation repeats itself during the first Camelback Hill. I love these airtime hills. You will be floating out of your seat for a few seconds. Ironically, the Camelback Hill is actually better suited if you're riding in the front row. So uh, go snag a ride in the front and back of the train. The same thing can be said about Candemonium, which is at Hershey Park, and Diamondback at Kings Island. Both roller coasters have great first drops and fantastic first airtime hills. Next, we have Steel Vengeance at Cedar Point. My favorite moment of floater airtime on this roller coaster will be that massive outer bank turn. Similar to Mako's airtime hill, the outer bank turn will have you flying in your seat for a few seconds. It's also a little more crazy because you are tilted at an angle, unlike most airtime hills that you take head on. Let's change gears and talk about a classic wooden roller coaster with Jackrabbit, located at Kennywood. Majority of this 100-year-old wooden coaster is rather tame, except for one moment, the double down. This drop will send you flying out of your seat, with only a simple seat belt holding you in. These few seconds of airtime are drowned out by an eerie silence as the wheels slightly lift off the track, allowing the upstops, which is the underside of the train that keeps the train on the track, to do its job and keeping you safe during this fun moment of airtime. Now, I could fill up this list with a bunch of hyper coasters by B&M, but there's only one other B&M coaster I want to give a shout out in this category, and that's Fury 325. The first drop on this Giga Coaster is so epic. With a 320 foot, 80 degree drop, riders are sure to be flying in their seat. Now, let's get to the best moment of floater airtime. And, spoiler alert, the best moment of airtime overall. Let's talk El Toro at Six Flags Great Adventure. The first drop on this roller coaster is insane. I'd say it's pretty close to bordering on ejector, but who cares how you want to label it? El Toro has amazing airtime, and that's all you need to know. The first drop is great with sustained airtime. The two Camelback Hills keep the action moving with two more great moments of sustained airtime. Okay, time to talk about the intense moments. This is ejector airtime. First, we have Skyrocket at Kennywood. When we talk about airtime at Kennywood, most of us would mention Phantom's Revenge or Jackrabbit, but there's this prototype Premier Rides launching coaster located near the park entrance that has one moment of airtime that's more intense than anything else offered at Kennywood. I'm talking about that drop off the mid-course brake run. It's a steep drop that will take you by surprise. 
Sticking around in the same park, let's now talk about Phantom's Revenge. I really can't pull one moment that I call my favorite, but all the pops of Ejector on this coaster is so much fun. The double down is rather quick and intense, but I guess my favorite would be the airtime hill prior to the double down. Let's give RMC some more love and talk about Storm Chaser located at Kentucky Kingdom. This is an extreme airtime machine. Every airtime moment is great, but there is one part of the ride that really sticks out is the Trick Track Double Up. These two pops of air will put your lap bar to the test. Maverick at Cedar Point is another great coaster that has multiple moments of airtime, but there's one moment that sticks out as the best airtime has to be the Beyond Vertical Drop. If you are seated in the back, the train really whips you over that drop. It's a quick pop of ejector airtime that flows right into some strong positives that may cause you to gray out. Jumping back to RMC, time to discuss Lightning Rod at Dollywood. How can I say that every airtime moment is my favorite because they kind of are. However, there are two moments that really stick with me the most. First is the outer bank turn which happens right after the wave turn. It's a snappy maneuver that gives you ejector and laterals. Next, the most intense moment of airtime on the ride, the quad down. Who knew that the best airtime on a roller coaster would be amongst the last elements of the ride? These airtime hills are super intense that give you a feeling that the train will bust off the track and send you crashing down the hillside. Velocicoaster at Universal Studios Islands of Adventure is another airtime machine. I'm a fan of the two inversions at the beginning of the ride, the Immelman and Dive Loop, but the ride doesn't really start heating up until you fly over the top hat. The airtime experience in the back row is crazy and reminded me of those intense pops of airtime that you find on Skyrush. Speaking of Skyrush, let's talk about the other hyper coaster at Hershey Park. This is what we call an airtime machine. The strongest moment of airtime I've ever experienced was on Skyrush. The first drop is scary intense, followed by the second best airtime, the speed hill. Now, I know that some will want to reclassify the airtime on Skyrush as more sustained because these two airtime moments are sustained. But since they're so intense, I decided it was best suited in the ejector airtime category. Finally, let's talk about the last favorite moment of ejector airtime. That will be the Speed Hill on Pantheon, located at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. This moment gets to be experienced traveling both forwards and backwards. Even after riding it multiple times, that airtime moment keeps surprising me how intense it is. The airtime is more intense traveling forward at full speed, but going backwards is my favorite as you're not quite sure when it's going to eject you from your seat. To wrap up this video, let's talk about my final category, upside down airtime. The first coaster that I experienced this sensation would be Storm Runner at Hershey Park. During the zero-g roll and flying snake dive, when the coaster flips upside down, the ride feels like it's trying to rip you out of your seat. Most inversions will push you into your seat, but Storm Runner does the opposite. This sensation was mastered on Velosa Coaster. That Mosasaurus roll is crazy. As someone who rides with my hands up, the upside down airtime moment makes me reach for my restraint almost every time. I have to fight the urge to hold on and just experience the tear that this inversion creates. Well, that's going to wrap up today's video. I know that many great moments of airtime got overlooked. If I were to discuss every favorite moment, this video would be like five hours long. Share with me your favorite airtime moment in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and click on the like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe. That way you continue to get more great content brought to you by Xtreme Thrills.